Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to uh, AWS training information video. Uh, so I'm creating this video just to give the information on the new upcoming batch on AWS uh, cloud training. Uh, so in this video, I will try to cover um, what uh, some training, basic training information and what all the topics that I'm going to cover in the upcoming batch training on August 1st, 2020. So the duration of the course would be almost 35 to 40 hours. Um, so it is around seven weeks. So this training batch will be in English, uh, guys. Um, but usually I provide training both in both Telugu and English languages. So the course name is a AWS Cloud, as I told earlier. So this, after attending this training, you would be able to attend uh, or to give the certificate uh, on uh, AWS Solution Architect Associate. Um, some theory uh, coverage, reading coverage. So this lab is more on hands-on guys. So I'm not um, orient, theory oriented uh, trainer. So everything what I do is uh, more into practical and uh, it's a hands-on lab for what we're going to do. And the uh, start date is August 1st, 2020. And the uh, type of training is online. Uh, I'm going to arrange some sessions and I will forward you the meeting details. So the type will be online training. So from Monday to Saturday, uh, there is no training on Sunday, guys. Um, and it is uh, from 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. AEST, which is Melbourne time. In India, uh, the timing would be 5.30 in the evening, guys. 5.30 to 6.30 IST. Uh, for US and Canada um, users, uh, it's morning 8 a.m., guys. Uh, So language, as I told, uh, this training will be covered in English language. Uh, what would be the prerequisites uh, required for the attendees means? Um, knowledge on Linux and Windows would be very great added advantage. Uh, so Windows, everyone will definitely have a knowledge how to use Windows operating system. But when it's coming to Linux OS distributions, um, you need to have basic knowledge. So. Uh, since we are, uh, we have some three to four days time, I would strongly recommend to go to Linux uh, training uh, or some basic Linux concepts and uh, hands-on experience. Uh, so you, even if you don't have a basic knowledge on Linux, uh, you can start with JWS training. Parallelly, you will uh, need to spend some more time to get more knowledge on Linux, uh, uh, guys. And uh, this is my email ID. You can contact if you have any queries through on this email ID. Course duration, as I told, it is around 36 hours to 40 hours. Um, every day, one hour would be the session, guys. One hour, one hour, 10 minutes, like that. Um, this training would be around uh, seven weeks. Uh, it might extend to eight weeks because we are not uh, uh, having a class on Sunday. Uh, so let me keep an as eight weeks. So what are the system requirements that you need to have to attend this training? Um, so you need to have a very good internet connection and uh, a laptop or a desktop with the 4 GB RAM minimum. Or you can also attend the training through mobile guys, but I would not recommend this. Uh, it would be great if you can attend through laptop or desktop. The syllabus link, I have given the syllabus link here. You can go to the syllabus link. I'll, I'll be uh, uh, sharing this uh, syllabus link in the below description. And the course fee is 5,000 rupees for the complete course, guys. Um, there is no additional fees or hidden charges. So this is all about uh, the training details. So uh, let me give you an overview on the syllabus, what we're going to cover in this um, AWS training. <coughs> let me open it for my local. So this is the um, curriculum, guys. Uh, so module one, we are going to discuss about cloud computing, what is the need for uh, uh, AWS and Azure, uh, difference between AWS and Azure computing, uh, on-premises cloud architecture. Uh, we'll be discussing about um, availability zones, regions, IP addressing, subnetting, infrastructure isolation with AWS cloud. And um, uh, VPC, virtual private cloud, uh, VPC architectures, how to create VPCs, internet gateways, routing security groups, and we'll see how to deploy EC2 missions, creating uh, key value pairs, single and multi-region VPC peerings. Um, so all these sessions, all these topics, what I'm showcasing here would be completely hands-on practical, guess, except a couple of 
uh, topics like VPN. So to do this, I will explain how to do this in theory uh, because I don't have a, um, a device, a VPN device, which I can connect and showcase you through live. So if you are interested, I will show um, how you can do that. Uh, then VPC peering we will have, we'll discuss about EC2 and EC2 instances, uh, EBS volumes and instance store um, uh, storage, um, then creating an EBS storages, AWS snapshots, uh, EBS backups, uh, snapshots and lifecycle manager. Then we'll see the load balancer, uh, types of load balancer like application load balancer and uh, uh, network load balancer and uh, we'll see a practical launching uh, some three to four instances keeping a load on this particular and we'll see whether the load is co correctly distributed or not then we'll see ssl certificate configuration uh, so i'll cover this ssl certificate in the certificate manager guys um, then we will also cover about auto scaling systems manager storage s3 then databases Databases uh, here, um, I will teach about RDS, multi aged instance, then DynamoDB, uh, then failover DBs. We will discuss uh, how this multiple aged architecture is uh, designed in AWS, and we will see a practical example on that. Then uh, we'll do a AWS Redshift. We'll see how to insert the data to AWS Redshift database, and similarly for uh, uh, Elastic Catch as well. So there are other um, databases also available. I will quickly give overview like MongoDB has been came as a document DB right now. So you can all um, have uh, practical on that. Then CloudWatch um, uh, dashboards, we'll see uh, CloudWatch dashboards and alarms and uh, how to schedule and working with Lambda functions, infrastructure as a cloud um, with a cloud formation. We'll see how to write a cloud formation code and uh, execute that uh, AWS infrastructure uh, automation. Then we'll see ops work automated with AWS Elastic Beanstack. Then we'll see about the license manager, service catalog, personal health dashboard and trust advisor. Um, and also we'll cover about um, IAM, uh, identity and access management, uh, you, uh, how to create users, roles, groups, security policies, how to restrict user access to uh, cross account roles, uh, deploying AWS Active Directory services, and creating AWS organizations. So these more important ways, um, uh, very frequent last interview questions. Mm, then AWS certificate managers, uh, Route 53 SSL certificates, uh, and CloudFront automation, um, S3 deploying a static website, HTML website in S3 bucket and making to availability to global uh, one. And uh, you will see about Docker's, uh, uh, spinning up Docker's instances, Docker containers, and we will see how ECR and water, ECR and ECS. Uh, then ECS cluster with EC2 missions that we are going to see in practicals. And um, cloud migration, guys, this is uh, one of the more, most important topic, uh, how to migrate your organization to cloud and um, some topics like uh, database migration services. So migrating your MySQL database to RDS instances. Uh, then developer tools, overview of developer tools, code, uh, AWS code builds, code commits. Code commit is nothing but similar to Git in the market and um, it's a aws git it's called as uh, cloud commit and um, we'll see some pipelines integrations some cacd environments um, then we'll see about um, simple notification services and simple email services simple um, and other uh, all the um, notification services of aws with step functions then auto configuration tools like terraforms cloud formation destroying aws environment and packer I'm not going to cover in detail, guys. Uh, Terraform itself, it'll take around six to seven hours if I want to cover in detail. So what I do is I'll just give an introductory around one hour session or 40 minute session, how to use Terraform, how to configure Terraform, overview of Terraform and uh, some uh, simple demo. Similarly for Chef and Ansible also same guys, Ansible playbooks I'm going to create. And this also I'm not going to cover in detail. So these both topics under Jenkins, and Docker's also I'll uh, show in um, yeah, as a demo part only around one hour because um, these are all DevOps topics. Uh, to cover these topics, so you can attend the DevOps training. Um, those are around 20 to 40 hours of training will be there on each and every tool. Then we'll see in data analytics overview, uh, how to use the cloud search, Elasticsearch and ETLs and Athena Glue. 
then uh, we'll see about uh, lambda lambda we'll be seeing when we are working with uh, uh, dynamo db uh, i will show with example again here we'll discuss in detail how to create a java functions or python functions in lambda and uh, understanding the context and events bottle library and integrating with lambda how to do that and uh, Uh, AWS device form, AWS environment is security best practices and project explanation is. So this AWS uh, uh, device form is something similar to uh, Perfecto Mobile or uh, P Cloudy Mobile, which is available for mobile testings uh, like browser and uh, browser stack and the SaaS labs. Um, so this is more into more for testers. Uh, then they. we'll have one more session on how to cover day to day activities on aws admin uh, roles uh, on uh, project explanation uh, so those who are not from aws background and wanted to migrate for aws uh, for interview purpose i'll explain a detailed project uh, along with these guys um, i will uh, give in uh, labs and uh, lab sessions and lab questions for you so that every day when you attend the session uh, th those questions will help you to create the lab on your own if you have any issues i will support them along with this training uh, let's say what what extra benefits are you going to get like say for example uh, um, after 3 months uh, of the training uh, if you are having any doubts in aws or if you uh, project if you are allocated to aws uh, projects or if you have any questions or issues i can help them Uh, uh to resolve those issues and um, if you are practicing a labs or uh, it doesn't mean that i'll do the work <laughs> i'll just help um, uh, on to resolve those queries guys mm, and uh, any project explanations and the resume uh, preparation guys i'll share a sample resume with you or uh, if you can share resume i will tell what are the improvements and uh, as i told earlier i will not create resume for you i can just help and give the suggestions for you So this is um, overall around uh, 36 to 40 hours of training, guys, uh, which is required. Um, so uh, from Monday to Saturday, uh, because I want to complete this training uh, as short span as possible. Because uh, uh, if you drag too much, um, then you know you might lose the concentration on working. Suppose if you are doing multiple or parallel learnings. So that's why I want to complete AWS training within uh, this 36 hours, which is around, which will go around seven weeks. so if you have any queries um, please uh, please uh, message me on my email id so this is my email id uh, happy learning guys uh, thanks for joining the session